Full Kleeman car, Kleeman engine. Clear the lean or soon. Clear the lean or soon. SGS limos that I want to get my hands on are going to be ones that are like the 600 Yo, flex. Uh, the smart. The smart. Yeah. In Japan. Go do a photo shoot with my boy Momo from Germany. He came all the way from Berlin, you know what I mean? He wants to uh, document what's going on over here and ask about the story behind everything that's going on. So that's what we're doing right now. It's some kind of CLK, I couldn't tell you what. Um, could be anything from like a black series to some crazy <laughs> wide body C2, uh, CLK 200. All I know is it's a blue CLK. I don't know the condition of it, but it can't be good if it's showing up at the shop. We don't have a, we don't have a good track record of cars being delivered to the shop and being like, okay. When Wesley and Jesse stopped showing up, they had everything in piles, so I just put it in the boxes and then the whole car just got pushed into the corner. And he set the pinion, which is the one thing that we couldn't do because we didn't have the special tool for it. I got the drive shaft in, I had to sort through all the bolts. I've got the parts catalog open on my desk, just like measuring the bolts and seeing what goes where. Yeah, yeah it's been fun. After the drive shaft is fully in, I'm gonna move on to the rear brakes and get the drum set up. I saw you went to the uh, race on Saturday. Yeah. Well, to qualify. Yeah, yeah, that shit was lit. Yeah? The Miami Grand Prix yeah. inaugural. Them girls was hitting them walls, bruh. He's into the wall, and the runner up from last year will not make. There's a chance, there's an opportunity. No! The See when... the screen where it's like shit actually going yeah. on. It's like, fuck, I wish I was sitting over there. Yeah. It was fun, it was cool. Shit, it was an experience. Like... Nice. Fuck F1, bro. How many people get to say they want to? F1? And then on Monday, they're casually making this Sun King look fly. I went to the, the paint shop this morning. So she's gonna come and take the, the picture to scan the paint on this. Oh, she yeah? Got you got a couple this. chips or something? Every, yeah, bro. There's rock chips everywhere on this. Like, if you look right here on this panel. Oh, yeah. Everywhere. So, and I got them on the mirror right here. This is why you gotta get your cars either PPF or ceramic coated. Avoid this. If you have a car like this of this stature, get it and get it ceramic coated. Today, big day, special delivery. CLK Cleman. So, what's the story with this car? Just found it online. Someone sent it to me, I think. Scooped it up. It was local, it's from America. Where? Got it for a good price. I had to grab it. Too easy. Full Cleman car, Cleman engine. I love that. It's, it's a 6.3, 6.8 it. liter manual. I want it. Make it happen. You want it? Yes. Yeah. Huh? 75. I'm offering maybe 16. It's a rear chassis, bro. It's a coupe. Yeah, he'll take 52,000 euro. What's happening with AFL? They have a few cars of mine that should be shipping out. The blue, the, the yellow, um, the red C140 with the six exhaust. Yes. That should be coming out. It's me. Yeah. Can we talk? No, it's not May. Yes, it is. It's, no, you always say May, but it's uh, July. June? July? Yeah. Okay, well, let's start preparing the car. Yes, 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 yes. We'll be prepared. The biggest. Ever. Ever. Good to see I can. You. I've been there. Very good to see you, my brother. What is this? The non-meat stuff, you know? Wallahi. Look, right here. The seller warns that the motor vehicle is free of any liens. Boom. Yeah. And he signed this. So he needs to 
Clear the leaner soon. Clear the leaner soon. Tell him. Uh, call him right now. No, no. Don't call him. He's a monkey. Yes. <laughs> we have to call Bernard or whoever and get them to check on the lean first. Then wow. we get the figure and then we contact him. How much? to Saudi Arabia. That's for the blue gold wing? Yes. Were you able to confirm if it was SGS or not? 100%. Of course. He's actually your money boss. Yeah, SGS limos that I want to get my hands on are going to be ones that are like the 600 Yo, I'd rather put, I'd You can't make a 600 no, out of it. I'd rather put that money towards the gold SGS limo in Saudi Arabia. Who sent you that? The guy that owns it. Carrot right hand drive, SEC. Is there a carrot exterior on it? Yes. Damn, it's all the pictures are so shit. Terrible pictures. Where is it at? Send more pics. If we're taking the black one, we, just, we should pull that one out first. Yeah. Oh, it starts up instantly though. Yeah, you're clear. And now turn right. Alright, let's go. Yeah, the other plate over there. I think I've got like three cars leaving. So we had the SL Bravis 60. That's going over to Julio. Uh, it was just a dead battery and it caused issues with the alarm system. It was parked for a long time, so there was a little bit of oil sitting from the valve covers, but once we drove it, there was no oil. It was just sitting for a long time. That's done. This one, we're still waiting on that auxiliary fan relay. Uh, that's coming in from the dealership today. They've been pushing back, pushing back, but they said today's the day. And then this is gone. That one, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, but it was in here for storage, so it's a car in the shop. Uh, Louis was gonna take it, wash it, and then we'll take on over to storage. So, in my books, that's three cars leaving the shop all for one day. I'm pretty happy about that. So, you hear how it's all scratchy? You hear that shit? Right now, what I'm doing is I'm clay barring it. So it's getting all the contaminants that's in the paint that's like baked in there. So once you touch it after this, it's gonna feel smooth. Looking for new service manuals from Benz. Dealerships are getting rid of them left and right, you know, and older mechanics are retiring and selling all their stuff, so I'm here to buy it up. And we get it at really good prices too. I've got a parts catalog that shows me every last nut and bolt in this car, so I have a good picture of what I'm doing. And I've got the service manual for this car that actually shows how to reassemble everything in the order that this would be. So between these two, knocking it out real easy. Making easy work of it. Oh, we'll do a photo shoot with my boy Momo from Germany. He came all the way from Berlin, you know what I mean? He wants to uh, document what's going on over here and ask about the story behind everything that's going on. So that's what we're doing right now. So this here is a gift from my boy Momo, straight from Berlin. I mean, he's the man. He got 30 30 supply in Berlin. If you ever want some Sub. motherfucking. Sub you too. Some American cups, some Pradas on your feet. He's the American cup king. Look at the shoes. Show him the shoes right there. So. Red yeah. shit. The C140, man. Monumental, monumental gift right here. We're not going to do like all the old people car shows where you go in and like oh, a yeah. bunch of old men inspect your yeah. car and touch yeah. it. That's like, fucking terrible. We want to do something that's like, no, we're going to do Rick Ross's car show and we'll throw our own. And we're just going to Rick Ross's car show to tell everyone, hey, we're going to do our own show. Come see it sometime. We're not here to like dick ride a bunch. We want to do our own thing and then make it special about these cars because it's one thing if you have a car show with like, 50 different car manufacturers in the back of the day. You do something all Mercedes, all like super yeah. heavy like this. It makes something impact. like this. It shifts people's minds. And then he's the one that's like, <laughs> that made me, you know, I'm a lover of Mercedes since I'm a kid. And it made me to fly overseas to see this in real life, you know? 
so so big is the love, you know? And what Wico is doing here and his partner is crazy. I've never seen something like this before. How did your love for Mercedes get started? Where did it come from? I think my love for Mercedes started from uh, just being born with nothing, I think, personally. Psychologically, I think that's where it comes from, having nothing and looking up to something, having something to look up to, having something to strive for. And also, I think it comes from my culture, from being Lebanese and how, uh, you know, Mercedes in Lebanon is just a part of the culture since the early 40s and 50s, you know, crazy. I bought my first Mercedes-Benz when I was 20 years old in 2006. It was a 1995 white C220 base model. No heated seats, no electric seats, no sunroof, no wood, just Alcantara inserts, leather interior, and electric windows. But it was a C220 and I still have it to this day. I never sold a car. Really? Yes. Nice. Where, where is it now? It's in Canada still. How did you came up? to collect all these cars, how did you made it? I made it by believing in myself, persevering, having a vision that no one had, never taking no as an answer, always believing it's gonna happen, investing in myself, reinvesting in myself. That's, that was the key, because when everybody else was running off and buying houses and buying their first Rolex or going to the club, I was reinvesting in myself buying things that people thought weren't valuable anymore. I was gonna make it valuable, so I knew. So it was all just a path of realigning myself and getting the right partnerships. The right partnerships is what got me here. Yeah, man, you, you got also the eye, bro. You got also the eye. I never trust my car to other people and I really uh, appreciate that you trust. I have an agency for that. We should do the SGS and all this, all the plans you have to a real fashion brand. Yeah, like haute yeah. couture, fashion pieces, limited stuff. No, not just merch. Not no. just very no, much. Take it because it's a whole other level. It got to be that. that. Brad, your car's extended warranty. My boy Momo, all the way from Berlin, one of the biggest influencers in fashion and in the, in the rap culture out there. He's shifting the culture. You have to come tap in with the biggest, you already know. So. He's working on the book. He's going to tell the life story of the Vintage Benz Collector and let people know how all this went down. So stay tuned, guys. Very, very interesting shit going down. Let's go. I want to move this car into that spot so when you get this shot, it's a full wall. Yeah, which one? That hole right there. The black one? Nice. The rabbits, I want to put it next to the I don't know, I didn't, I mean you see very nice cars, and very yeah. uh, nice old cars from people who have money and shit, but something like this, it, it doesn't exist in Germany. Well, shout out to my boy Rami, Inbound Motors. Uh, the Sparrow. What? The Sparrow Where? in Japan. Oh my god. You getting it? Mint condition, well I'm trying. Bro, that shit is fine. You know we have the first one ever made, right? Pulled out in Saudi Arabia? It's gonna be sent straight to SGS.
Oh, no. That's his? Yes. No, don't. Yes. Yes, look at the color. Look at it. Yes, yes. And he, look, it's like, it fits exactly what like, like this yeah. is my look too, so yeah. it's right up our alley. I like it. Of course. We're going to do patina. It's a little heavy for Florida, but it's nice. Of course. Patina yeah. has a nice name to it too. Yes, yeah. So it could be like patina clothing, you know? Easy. Too easy. It's also like enough if you put it just outside, like daylight, you know? Yeah. Well, i tell you which one they are. Keep on. Guys, everything in. Last in showroom fund. 